Hello everyone, this is Nintenguy and Generic Person 12. And today we are doing a let's play of a glorious, wonderful game. No, I'm being sarcastic. I hate this game! It's awful. Yeah, well, you said that we should do it. Yeah, I'm kind of being held against my will. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, Barry Bobbins has to, uh, is going to help me uh, do a let's play of Pac Man on the Atari. Yeah. Uh, let's get this over with. Let's open that freaking stupid. So we're gonna be uh, taking turns with yeah. this, are we? So yes. Yeah, I think so. I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do this. I have actually beaten this game a couple of times before, so those question marks, if you go there, you have to raise your neck, and there it'll tell you which hole to drop down. You have to grab that phone piece, and you need at least three phone pieces to beat the level, and this asshole right there will actually steal your phone piece, so... Yeah. So you need to avoid him ah, at all cost. The, the one odd thing is, I've always thought, like, that, uh... FBI or whatever he's supposed to be. I always thought the animation or the this like the sprite or whatever for me it actually looks okay for an Atari game. Like yeah, it does. I, I mean, like usually people in Atari games don't look very good, so that's like the only good thing about this game. And there's no phone pieces around here. You can also teleport in the game, but because the air whatever uh, signal appears on the top of the screen tells you what you can do in the game, and that right there is a piece of candy, that dot that I just picked up. So what do those do? Um, I think, uh, they, I can't remember, they give you points if you talk to Elliot or something, I don't remember. Oh, oh and those, uh, that Roman numeral three, you use that to scare away the people. People are really afraid of the, uh, number three. Yeah, they'll walk away from you if you, uh, use the number three. And... Uh, that right there is a, uh, if you if you get all the phone pieces, you stand right there, and then you can call home. Yeah. And unfortunately, the thing that really bothers me about this game is that uh, uh, every time you turn on the Atari and you play the game, uh, the fo uh, the signals and stuff like the, they won't uh, they'll be in different locations. Yeah. And stuff making it more making it more uh, annoying and stuff like that. Yeah. And where's I I've only found like. One phone piece right now. And How many are there? Three. Two. Yeah, this this is really not a let's play. Like this game, you don't. Play, it's not even really a friggin' game. It's torture. Like we're just. It's a let's suffer. Exactly. It's a let's suffer. And that and that and what it looks like right there in the bottom of the screen looks like a point system, but it's actually uh, it's actually your health meter. So every time you walk around and do stuff, you lose parts of your health. Oh, that just makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so can you replenish your health? Um, I think if you talk to Elliot, if you have enough candy, you probably can. Yeah. I can't pick that little candy piece up. Ooh, a piece of candy. Great. Candy for dinner. Ooh, oh, and there's a candy. And there's Elliot, and he let me use my pieces of candy so that I can refill my health, I think. Is it just me, or does he almost look like one of those Canadians from South Park with, like, the floppy head? Yeah, I think so. So, uh, in this Let's Play, we're not, I don't think we're going to beat the game necessarily, because it's quite a difficult game to beat, even though I've already beaten it and before. it's difficult for all the wrong reasons. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with a hard game like, say, Castlevania, or, uh, you know, what ones like that, like, or Legend of Zelda, like, you know, it's okay for a game to be hard, but this game is hard because it's so friggin' broken. And I can't find any phone pieces at all, like... Oh, there's one right down there. Okay, whatever. Now I gotta find that last phone piece, and then I gotta try and beat the game. Uh, and this game can be quite stressful at times. Um, also, we forgot to mention that we are, uh, I'm actually, it's me playing right now, and I'm gonna let Generic Person 12 play after when I'm done. Yeah. Um, we are, uh, we are recording this off an Atari 2600. Yeah, did you get the last piece? I think I did, I think Elliot just came and gave me the last piece. I huh. need to scare him off. Wouldn't that be great if in, like, Zelda, like, you know, like, Impa just kind of gave you the friggin' Triforce or something? Yeah. It's well, it's quite rarely that the, okay, there it is, now I have to go back to the forest. Where's that launch? There, ah, there's that launch pad. Now there's the Roman numeral three. Oh, get, oh shit! Shit! <laughs> oh, bastard! Took my phone piece. Oh, oh. Well, actually, I probably still can beat the game. I just need to stand in this spot and scare people. Oh, okay. 
So I'm so close to beating the game right now. And this is probably the most intense part right now. Yeah. And we are playing- we are recording the footage off a woody uh, Atari 2600, like a wood green Atari. Yeah. Did you beat the game then? Yeah, I just beat the game. Wow. It, it is not as easy to beat as Nintendo, I just made it look. Yeah, it's not easy at all. You'll, you'll see, I, I have not played this game as much as Nintendo guy, so I'm almost definitely not going to beat it, but I'm going to try. Yeah. So, yeah, when you beat the game, you get to play the game all over again. Yeah, no special ending or anything. Yeah. So now Generic Person 12 is playing. Ah, oh, this is so fun, and, isn't it? Yeah. Ah! Ah. Ah. And beating this game is not easy. Or fun. Yeah, it's not easy, it's not fun, it can be very stressful. Oh, and you just found a phone piece without even using the question mark. No, I used the question mark. Did you? That's why I went down there. Yeah, but the, um, if you if you see a symbol, you push the red button to use the question mark, and the blinking light will tell you which uh, hole to drop down, I think. Okay, so I guess I just got lucky. Dad. This isn't fun. <laughs> I know. This is, like, about as fun as getting, like, a lobotomy. No, actually, this isn't as fun as getting a lobotomy. I would rather- Oh, you just lost your phone piece. <sighs> Asshole would, pull, uh, popped out of nowhere and took your phone piece. I would honestly rather, like, go through every- Like, just, I'd rather be tortured than play this Okay, game. what's better, this or a prostate exam? Prostate exam? Like, at least if you had- Like, some people probably get some kind of sick pleasure out of prostate exams. If you hold down the red button, you can run. Oh, there's a flower right there. You can bring it to life for no reason. Oh, so it doesn't really do jack shit? Yeah, it does jack shit. Uh... Ah! Leave me alone, stupid... Ah. No! 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 Don't molest me! Don't molest me! No! 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 Uh... The, okay, fun fact about this game. Atari spent 25 million dollars on this game. This is a bigger waste of money than the friggin' room. And also, this game only to had they only had what was it like five or six weeks uh, to develop it. Yeah. So there wasn't really that much develop time. No, 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 no. But, oh wow, you glitched your way out. I have no idea what I did. And you found another phone piece, hooray! But yeah, if you uh, possibly the worst people that you can come across is the FBI agent and maybe yeah the FBI agent because that asshole will take away your phone piece and he'll put it in a different hole and you have to go look for it. Yeah, like who goes steals a phone piece and then hides it? Especially from little aliens. Yeah, like if you're the FBI, why don't you just take it to your friggin' FBI headquarters? And why does an FBI agent need a piece of a phone anyway? Why, yeah. could, like, like, wouldn't most FBI agents steal the alien and just run off? Yeah, like, take him to, like, Roswell or whatever and do a friggin', like, biopsy on him or whatever. Okay, push, oh. Uh, it, this is, the controls are a lot uh, worse than I remember, like, it, it is. Just push the question, oh, there's, so there's no phone pieces there. Okay. Okay, just get out of there then. Like, I don't know, do you find the controls in this game to be pretty bad? Yeah, I think so, because when you have to run around, when you're running around, you move so fast that you don't have time to react, and sometimes you'll slip and fall into a hole. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's the worst video game, possibly. I'd, I'd have to say that there's probably worse games out there, but... It's probably not even the worst game on the Atari. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty sure, um... I believe Space Attack is probably just as bad as E.T. in my opinion, which was a, an Atari game that I reviewed uh, quite a while ago. I'm gonna have to say that Mario's Missing, uh, like, no, excuse me, not Mario's Missing, Mario's Time Machine on the Super Nintendo was prob is probably worse than oh, this game. that game is so disappointing because it's like, yay, Mario, time travel, what could go wrong? Everything. Everything friggin' went wrong. So, as you can see, I'm gonna die pretty quick. So, yep. So, and I, Elliot's gonna use that last piece of no, never mind. So, oh, do I still have my phone piece or something? Yeah. Oh, still so there. I didn't die for some reason. Well, you died, but it's just I don't know. He brought you back to life. He did CPR on you or something. Oh, okay. He jammed his tongue down my throat. Oh, probably. Mmm, sexy Elliot tongue. Now, I was telling Generic Person 12 this, apparently in the movie E.T., there's a lot of Atari references that you can find in the movie E.T. Uh, there's this one scene- oh, that asshole took my phone. Ah. Uh, okay, there's this one scene in the movie where, uh, where the, this kid is wearing an Indy 500 shirt. 
and uh, which is an, actually an Atari game, Indy 500, it's a racing game. And then there's a scene where a kid comes home from the arcade and he opens up the door and he says, I just got a new high score in Asteroids, which Asteroids is actually an Atari game. Well, that's one of the classics, right? Yeah, that's one of the classic arcade games. And then there's one scene where a little girl is watching Sesame Street, and if you look on top of her TV, you can see a wood green Atari on her TV. Yeah. And yes, we are recording this game off of a wood grained uh, Atari. We're we're playing this off of the four switch model Atari. Yeah. So we're not using it we're not using an emulator whatsoever. And this was one of the games that caused the video game crash in nineteen eighty three. I'd have to uh, yeah, the big blockbuster games. Who's molesting me? The big blockbuster games for the Atari were uh, E. T. and Pac Man. Which yeah. Pac Man the arcade game wasn't bad, but the Atari version was pretty mediocre. Yeah. Alright, so I guess I'll maybe give it one more shot. Yeah, give it one more shot. Oh, you found an, you found your last phone piece. Now you need to find that um, UFO um, symbol. Just by, you have to. No, no, no. Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> you have to walk around the. Um, you have to walk around down near everywhere around the green. Oh! What an asshole! Yeah, I know. <sighs> this game is okay, so. Bro I'm just gonna commit suicide. This game is so broken, isn't it? Yeah. I'm just committing suicide here. In this dank, disgusting, yeah. dirty hole. Yeah, you die, E.T. You die and you go to hell. You go to hell and you burn. Go to hell, go to hell, go you to hell. You burn in hell, you horrible, freaking putrid game. I'm done. Yeah, look at, him, look at him smiling there. What a, what a fucking asshole. I know. So what do you think of this game? I hate it. Awful. Terrible. The controls are broken. It, it barely functions. It... It's glitchy as hell, frustrating, I don't know, yeah, I guess it's okay, what do you think? It's, it's a bad game, but I wouldn't say it's the worst video game known to mankind, but it's definitely a game that if you're willing to spend money on this game, don't. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I didn't beat it, I got, you know, I got three phone pieces, I can imagine beating it would be, you know, it'd feel kind of like, kind of like an achievement, but, you know, it's, I mean, I've played worse games than this, I mean, if I was going to rate it, I guess I'd give it like a... And 4 out of 10 or something. I mean, I've played worse. Yeah, and uh, beating the game is very stressful and stuff, and uh, all the different uh, icons appear in random locations, so it's kind of difficult to beat the game. Yeah. But anyway, I better wrap this so up here. You give it a rating? Yes, yeah, so I'll give it a rating. I'll give it a 3 out of 10. Yeah, so when 10 guy gives it a 3 out of 10, I give it a 4 out of 10. Yeah. So anyway, uh, this is uh, that's the end of our ET Let's Play. This has been 10 guy And generic person 12, who's still being held against his will. Right, and uh, take care. And also, we're doing a uh, three-person let's play with uh, Barry Bobbins, uh, myself, and Generic Person Twelve. We're going to be doing uh, 007 Nightfire and 007 Asian Underfire, and then possibly Super Smash Brothers Brawl. We're not quite sure. Yeah. So look forward to that. But yeah, that's the end of our let's play. See, uh, take care, and see you later.